uh, now, what are the different methods of payment, uh, or actually, how is the client going to pay you? First, you have a payment in advance, so the payment is received before the ownership of the goods is, is transferred. Uh, the letter of credit, it is one of the most secure instruments available to international traders. It's a bank guarantee on behalf of importer to exporter, assuring payments when exporter presents specified documents. Documentary collection, uh, exporter entrusts the collection of the payment for a sale to its bank, which sends the documents that its buyer uh, needs to the importer's bank with instructions to release the documents for the pay, uh, to the buyer for payment. So it's something that happens between two different the, the, the banks of yourself as the exporter and of your client as the buyer. And finally, open accounts, Goods are shipped and delivered before payment is due, which in international states is typically in 30, 60, or 90. Now, the different payment options that we saw, we're going to take a look at the trade relationship that you need to have with your client and the risk that is going to happen to you in case you decide to go with this type of payment option. So first, the payment in advance, it, has, it, it goes in higher risk relationships. So whenever you you are, for instance, meeting a client for the first time, you are not sure of its of his solvability, of, or you are not sure of his um, capacity to pay on time, etc. So you are not really entrusted with a good relationship with that client. Uh, this is where you actually ask that client to pay in advance, and in in that case, the risk to you as an exporter is quite low because you have actually cashed in your money before sending. The, uh, the goods out. The letter of credit is actually applicable to all levels and types of relationships because it is, uh, it is widely used, especially in international markets. We're going to take a look and uh, right now after this and see why it has a high risk to the exporter. The documentary collection, which has a risk, a moderate risk regarding the exporter, and it is recommended for use in established and secure trade relationships and in stable export markets. And finally, the open account, it has a minimal risk to the exporter, but it usually happens whenever you already have an established relationship with your client, so you are entrusted with sending him the goods knowing that he will pay on time. Now, uh, we were saying that you might have high risks whenever you are getting a letter of credit. So let us see what are the different issues that you could say you could you could face. First, the shipment date or method required in the letter of credit cannot be met. The documents required by the letter of credit cannot be obtained. Importer deliberately fixed out letter of credit application incorrectly to stall or to force a discount. Uh, product description is too detailed which makes it very difficult for the, for, the, uh, for the exporter to comply with. So exporters and you as exporters need to be aware of these issues and ready to address them.